Charlie Young, the tight end, lines up on the right. A straight drop back to pass. He's going deep up the left side. He's got Turner in front. He makes the grab of the 30. He's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Seahawks. Today on Fridays at the Whiteboard, I wanted to take you through the mechanics of the simplest route in pro football, the go route, sometimes referred to as the nine route, the fly route, or the streak route. Now this route is essentially where your wide receiver will run as fast as he can down the field to the end zone. So we'll draw that out using blue. Now, looking at this route, how does a quarterback decide if he can throw this, this pattern? He will have to identify and clear two defenders, the corner and the free safety. So, I'm going to go through three scenarios here. One is the can throw it, the one is the can't throw it, and one is maybe, and maybe will be last. So the can throw it is the free safety has come up into the box. So we'll notify that with the red arrow. And so now it's just the corner and the wide receiver one on one. Now, the other thing he has, the quarterback has to identify before throwing this is does the corner back up at the snap? So in this scenario, let's call this cushion five yards. So we'll do that in green. So do a line between the receiver and the corner here and call that a five yard cushion. So just five yards. So. So at the snap, the free safety comes down into the box, so he's no longer going to factor in on this route. Now, the next thing that you will check as a quarterback is at the snap. If the corner backs up, so he immediately backpedals, the route's dead because he's going to be over the top of it. And in order to throw a go route, a quarterback mechanically has to put air under the ball. So it's almost going to be like a reverse punt because you're going to send you're going to send your wide receiver like a gunner downfield, but he's actually going to field the ball rather than just hunting a a punt returner. So think of it a little bit like that. Okay? So here's the can't throw it scenario. So we'll erase these lines. And then we'll put 20 yards back on the free safety. So he's super deep. And then the corner is going to give a 10 yard cushion. So now the corner is giving a little bit more ground and he's going to back up at the snap. So he's backpedaling he's gonna sit over the top, the route's dead. But also, once you identify that the free safety is back, if the corner immediately backs up, route's dead, it's all, you know, there's no other scenario in which that pass is gonna be complete. Even if the free safety, you know, doesn't immediately get over the top of the route. So, it doesn't take much to kill this, this concept. Now, Here's the complicated part. Here is the maybe section of how you make this throw. So let's say now that the corner is pressed up against the wide receiver. So he's in press man, he's right up against the wide receiver at the snap. The free safety is still 20 yards back. So you have a lot of room to work in, 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 in this. So now your quarterback has to know how the wide receiver works in press. So 
He's going to he's gonna run his go route as soon as he gets off press. The quarterback will have to identify, you know, the with the free safety being back. Uh, and now, once the wide receiver clears, so he's really got to know his guy because he's got to know the timing here. Because in order to get this to work, he has to be able to throw it in this area. So, like, uh, maybe take blue and draw a line like right here. So he's got to be able to clear this corner in this area. You've got to be able to throw it in like a 15 yard window, so 15 yards. So you want to be able to, if you're going to throw this, and, and this is where the maybe comes in, and this is why elite quarterbacks are what they are. So the, so the wide receiver beats his guy at the snap. You know, he's got a good, good jump on him. Now you really got, so now, where you would normally just say the route is dead, you know, all this, you have a 15 yard window. Now, where you would normally float it over the top of the defender, you're going to really gun it. So you're going to beat, you're going to, your wide receiver is going to beat the corner and he's, you're going to gun it in front of the free safety. Now, your other option is let's say this is play action or another scenario in which the quarterback takes the free safety so he's 20 yards back so let's 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 erase the 20 yards back we got that so where the other part of this maybe comes in is maybe you can pull this safety away from your go route so you're gonna pull him away using either your eyes so this is where you would hear the concept he moved the safety with his eyes you'll, you'll hear that a lot um, the other option is you run play action and he bites on the fake and he either comes down into the box or he moves away from the route in some other fashion so this is the maybe part this is the the hyper extra mechanics of how a go pattern works. This is the simplest route in football, but as you can see, there's so many different mechanics that may, can make it work or not work for you. So um, I think with that, we pretty much wrapped up how a go pattern works. I look forward to your comments. Um, this is just a demonstration, so um, I hopefully this will improve as I get into more versions of this series. Okay, thanks.